Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm Joe May. Today we're going to do an oxalic acid treatment on the hives for varroa mites. And uh, you use wood bleach. A lot of people just go to the store and buy wood bleach from the hardware. Uh, you can buy it off of Amazon. I've heard some horror stories off of Amazon that they ain't getting what the package says and killing some bees. My personal preference is to go to just get online and buy it from a pharmaceutical so you know you got 99 point something pure oxalic acid. Now I'll show you the setup here. What I do, I just got a little gone, uh, lawn and garden tractor. I run the battery charger on it and I do, you know, 100 hives and it, it, it just, it do them all. I don't have to pack a big heavy battery around or whatever I got a like a 20 foot cord on my oxalic acid vaporizer let me get here Get the camera adjusted right The oxalic acid vaporizer, you know, it's just a rod. Uh, they manufacture them. They run from all price gamuts and made of different ways. This particular one, I make myself. Uh, got a half inch copper nipple for the dipper. And basically, Basically, there's nothing to it. You take the dipper in there, and then basically one one of these will do a big hive or a little hive. It's plenty. It don't over treat and it don't under treat. You put one of them in there, and I just slide this right in the bees right there. You slide it in about halfway. Take my towel. Close it up. And I crack the lid on my feeder so I see that it's uh, like that. Here I got a stopwatch. I know mine takes two, hour, uh, two minutes and 45 seconds to vaporize. <laughs> I'll get it started here. <laughs> Try to readjust this camera here so I can get a close up of the vapor coming out of it. Of course you got the bees, they're wanting to come in. <clears throat> These are all bees, field bees coming back. You got pollen, you, you, you don't treat. Tip you gotta start treating in June and treat three weeks in a row, like I do it on Saturday, do three Saturdays in a row. And then treat once a month till they, it's frost time and your bees will all be healthy and, and ready to overwinter. They won't die from varroa mites, that I guarantee. Uh, uh, it's starting to vaporize now. You can see it coming around the uh, way around the towel. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Like that. You just get a hint of white smoke now and then. We'll get a shot of the top here in a minute. It gets going good. You can see it. This be like a chimney coming out the top of the box where I cracked the feeder lid on it.
We're at two minutes and 11 seconds here. I get a close up now. It's starting to come out the top of the box real good. camera difficulties here. Hope it shows up on the video, see the white smoke coming off. Okay, we're, we're two minutes and 45 seconds for this particular vaporizer. I shut it off. I let it cool for about two minutes before I pull it out. I want to get this camera refocused on the entrance because you'll see that the bees, when you gotta take it, take it out, they don't rush out of there. They don't act excited. They're just calm as a lamb. I don't think they like it, but it, they don't act too overly ill about it. Shut it up now. It's still smoke coming out. Try not to breathe that. You don't, definitely don't want to breathe this stuff. Here, I just take a towel off. See, there ain't a bunch of bees running out. The ones that have got pollen on it, they're going to just run right back in the hive, and there's plenty of that smoke still in there. They don't act like nothing's wrong. Back to business as normal. Uh, thanks for watching. This little bit's Honeybee Channel. I'm Joe May. Uh, hopefully we're going to have the web page up a little bit, honeybees.com here in the next month or so. We'll be, we'll be selling uh, nukes and hopefully queens in the spring. Uh, so you can be looking forward to that. Thank you. Goodbye.